Okay, today's video, I am going to tell you what mediums I use. I don't use a lot of mediums. I pretty much try to stick to just oil paint on the canvas. So here's the mediums that I use. I like walnut oil, walnut oil gel, um, pure raw linseed oil, and the Velasquez medium. Welcome to my channel, Shelly J. Cox. Come along with me on my art journey. Right from the tube, onto the palette, onto the canvas. Now, sometimes I like the oil paint to get a little looser. If it's been like a couple days now that I'm putting it in the freezer at night, I take it out and if I'm using it and it's a little tight or stiff, then I will loosen it up with a little bit of the Rublev Walnut Oil Gel. So this is really cool because I can squeeze it out on my vertical palette and it'll just hang there and I can dip into it as needed. It doesn't really affect the drying time. It doesn't uh, make it any slower. If anything, it might speed it up just a tad, but not a lot. I haven't noticed any um, drying effects really, but it does loosen up the paint nice. You just don't want to mix too much in. Just a touch will do. And if I'm starting out doing the underpainting. So a lot of times I'll take the walnut oil, which is an M gram walnut oil. Um, all these products are going to be listed in the description and there should be links to them, except for the Rublev product. Uh, if you just Google the Rublev brand, it'll come up. So the walnut oil, a lot of times I just spread that thinly on the canvas if I'm doing an underpainting like a grisaille. And then the paint, usually one color, maybe two, uh, you kind of draw with it, sculpt with it, and it'll stay wet for a couple of days so you can really uh, perfect the drawing, then let it dry, and then do your painting on top of that. So that's what I use the walnut oil for. And I <laughs> saw... So, I decided I didn't want to clean my brushes with turpentine or odorless turpentine anymore. So I started cleaning my brushes with linseed oil. And I got to tell you, the brushes are lasting a lot longer. So I just pour some in this little cup and I dip it in there and just move the brush around. So if, I've, if I'm cleaning this brush, I just dip it in, move it around on a paper towel and then do it over and over until it's clean and then the bristles and the brushes are staying nice. And I don't like to buy too expensive of a paintbrush, but you know, it's just nice if your brushes can hang around longer is better. And cleaning them in the linseed oil will work. Then every once in a while, I'll go over um, to the sink and use a brush cleaner. It's more of a soap situation, soap and water. But even after that, I like to put a little linseed oil on them. It's like conditioner for your hair, but for your brush. <laughs> So those mediums I use often, but there is one other that I use on a, I'd say a rare occasion, but it's the Rublev Velasquez medium. And this is a paste-like um, uh, consistency. And it's got a little bit of like a calcite or a chalk in it. And what this does is it'll make a opaque paint semi-transparent. Um, it also thickens it up a little bit. It won't change the U or the, um, the color of the paint. It just changes the consistency. So uh, if you're working with an opaque paint and you want to use it in a more transparent way, you just put a little bit of this down. It uh, works great. You just put it right out on the palette, dip your brush into it, and then dip your brush into a little bit of the paint and you can go right onto the canvas from there. Uh, Rublev Velasquez medium. So those are the three mediums that I use. Linseed oil, walnut oil, walnut oil gel. I don't use anything else. Uh, I just find it more archival to limit the use of mediums. I know, and even the Velasquez medium, it's thick, but it's uh, been said that it won't crack. It's very archival. So down the road, you're not gonna get any weird things happening to your paints. So if you're concerned about your paintings living for a long time, then limit the use of mediums that you use. Oil paint straight out of the tube is always best, but in the occasion that you need a medium, then just keep it 
simple and light-handed. So that is my thought on mediums. Have you ever been painting a painting and you see that something's just not quite right, but you can't put your finger on it? Well, I have a free guide of six questions that will help you figure it out. Just click on the link in the description and you'll go here, drop in your email, hit that pink button, and it'll be on its way to you. So I also want to just give a big thanks to all the people that have subscribed to my channel and thank you for coming along with me on my art journey. I have some exciting things planned for 2021. Um, 2020 hasn't been <laughs> the year that any of us have uh, expected or hoped for. In uh, last January when you were planning uh, the year ahead's activities, um, those all pretty much fell through. So uh, a really cool thing I have happening in May of 2021 is I'm going to be at the front, uh, it's American Frontier Production. Uh, it's this whole Western town they have set up where you go and it's uh, four days you spend there and they bring in actors. They have all the period clothing for like the um, late 1800s, early 1900s. Uh, American heritage, Western frontier, they have American Indians, everything's authentic and timed to that specific period. And you can take all the reference material photographs that you want to. I mean, you could even set up and probably paint from life, but I'm going to be getting reference photos. And uh, then after that, I'll come back and we'll go through the reference photos and then start painting. I want to do this whole Western series that I have planned. So the portraiture will play into more figurative work and then we'll do some close-up portraitures of the different actors in their costumes, which I love the idea of that. I can't wait. So I'll be sharing all that with you and I have a couple other um, smaller workshop type trips planned. So you'll be, anything that I learn on those adventures, I'm going to be sharing with you. So you'll learn it as well. And then one other thing that I am doing is I'm building a digital course. Yeah. And I'm going to be teaching my way of painting portraits. So stay tuned for that. In fact, if that's something that you are even slightly interested in, I'd love to see some comments about it. And if you really are interested and you want to get on the waiting list, uh, just send me your email in a direct message or in the, you can, my email's in the description. So just email me and we'll put you on the list. But yeah, so I am currently filming and working on that. So digital course coming in 2021, early 2021. I expect it to be ready. So that's a lot of stuff exciting coming up. And I just wanted to uh, give you guys a heads up so you'll be the first to know about it. And all right. And just, hey, thanks for watching and keep on watching. And I'm going to keep on making some really good videos. And hopefully you're learning some stuff along the way. Thanks a lot, and I'll see ya. Bye. Did yeah. Did yeah. Testing, testing. Okay, let's make a video. Let's make a video. Okay, I'm gonna start that, that, and that.